16. You've got a normal patio. Now the yard, you know, which is mature, is up higher above the patio. Uh, so, number one, when the yard gets wet, it's depositing water on the patio. And the patio is sloped, I'm sure. It's probably, it sounds like it's probably yeah. sloped properly. But the point is now the grass at the end of the uh, the very outside edge of the patio is creating a dam basically right uh, and uh, and it's uh, it's yeah. holding up water from draining off the patio into the yard because the yard's higher so the the uh, the no-brainer solution and the least expensive one is that if you already have drain lines uh, tied in uh, to your backyard that uh, run out towards the house that we find where that trunk line is running uh, left or right down your side yard and tie into it with a linear drain, a linear drain uh, right at the front edge of your patio. Uh, so there, we're not there. If you mean, the if you mean yeah. pipe, there's no pipe. It's okay, there's just, no pipe. Um, okay. So we may it need... It was just like Brady. Okay, so in order to get rid of this problem, maybe time to install drain a drain line uh, to get this water out from uh, from this situation and pump it out uh, front uh, or to another location in the property where it can handle it. But the idea is simply this, a linear drain. Uh, it's about six inches deep. It's about four inches wide. It has a walkable grate on top of it. It's not an eyesore. It's, it's thin and long. They come in sections. You can run a linear drain connecting sections down that runs the entire length of the front edge of the patio and basically becomes uh, the water trough in between the patio and the yard. So water from the yard, even though it's higher than the patio, it has to cross the linear drain first, which it won't. That water will drain down into that drain and out, and the water coming off the roof and rolling down the patio towards the yard, it will also hit that linear drain and drain itself out away from that situation. You won't have that puddle anymore. The key, though, is uh, where that drain, that drain gets installed flat, by the way, not sloped, flat, so that it's attractive, it just runs right along flat, the force of the water coming down into it, at whatever end or the other that it's open to the rest of the drain pipe, that's when the pipe starts to uh, dip and actually roll on grade with a slope out to wherever it needs to go. Uh, sometimes we put that into a sump pit because you know, grade in front of the house is higher than grade in the back, and the sump pit uh, has a little ejector pump that pumps it out onto the street. Sometimes we can just find a place to empty that drain line out into uh, uh, another garden area uh, or, uh, you know, an area that could use the water, or sometimes we take it all the way out to the curb with a core cut through the curb and just, just get it off the property altogether. You've got options when it comes to that, Melinda. You'll have to kind of, uh, you know, examine how it works with your property, but a linear drain in between the yard and the decking there uh, sounds like the answer to me, sight unseen. Thanks for the call. Hey, uh, y'all, when we come back, we'll uh, take a couple of more, like we do, your home. With Dean Sharp, the house whisperer, Jane Yamamoto. <laughs> Evacuations moving forward to Cassie's and Battlestar in eastern Ukraine a day after a missile strike killed at least 52 people at a train station. The man who allegedly shot Lady Gaga's dog walker has been let out of jail by mistake. Officials say the man being let out was an administrative error. The man and four others attacked the dog walker last February and stole Lady Gaga's French bulldog. And the Nickelodeon Kids Choice Awards will be presented tonight at the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica. Taylor Swift, Adele are both nominated for favorite male artists, along with Ariana Grande, Billie Eilish, Cardi B, and Lady Gaga. Trouble on the 91 will be returned. So what comes to mind when you think about your tap water? Let me guess. You don't like the taste. Uh, you don't like drinking chlorine. You don't like hard water stale. You don't like that the only drinkable water in the whole house is all the way in the kitchen in plastic bottles or in that funky old stuff, I just think. I hear you. Here is the solution. A whole house water filtration system from Life Source Water. With Life Source, all the water in the whole house will taste delicious. I can tell you that firsthand because I've got one hooked up to my house and it's brilliant. In part, it tastes delicious because there's no more chlorine or chloramine in the water. And in part because it helps reduce hard water problems, but not by adding salt or taking healthy, good-tasting minerals out of your water. With open filtration and protection for your water in a maintenance-free system. And right now, you can own a life source system for as little as $86 a month on approved credit. Call 
life source today at 800 
Take it outside. Don't do. Don't do. Don't drain it the first time on the concrete uh, anywhere on your patio or in your garage. And I'll tell you why. Uh, the reason is air compressing. You know, uh, an air compressor takes air uh, <laughs> off of the outside uh, that is full of moisture. Okay, full of uh, moisture vapor, uh, water vapor. It's, when it compresses it inside the tank. That compression heats it up, and they, the water vapor separates from the air, okay? So yeah. what happens is water builds up inside the tank, moisture inside the tank. That's why we drain the pressure relief valve. It's not about the pressure. The, the compressor could sit there with that much pressure in it for a lifetime. It's not about pressure okay. weakening the tank. It's about water that collects inside the tank. So chances are... If you've used it a lot, a lot, a lot, and you've never drained or opened that pressure relief valve, there's water in the tank, and it could be rusty water. And that's the main reason why we drain our compressor, is not because we hate water, but uh, that water, you let it sit in there, it starts rusting out the inside of the pressure tank, and in theory, you know, it could rust it go through and leak in the tank, and uh, make it no good. So, yeah, if you own a wow. compressor of any sort whatsoever, uh, it is industry standard construction procedure. Drain the, the compressors at the end of the day or while they are done. Yeah, it might not need to fix it. Yeah, then it might need to fix the air condition.
2011 Acura MDX. The 2011 MDX features an all-aluminum V6 engine that is both powerful and fuel efficient. Acura perfected each and every component on the exterior surface. An attractive stance is achieved thanks to alloy wheels glistening within the fenders. The seven-passenger MDX has doors that open wide for easy entry and exit. The power tailgate opens with the touch of a button. You can rely on ultra-bright xenon headlights to keep the roadway illuminated. Premium leather seats provide maximum comfort, wrapping drivers and passengers in a shroud of luxury. Acura prioritized comfort and style by including a blind spot monitoring system, XM radio, optional rear entertainment system, and seat memory. With split folding second and third row seats, the MDX offers a wide variety of passenger and cargo combinations. The available Acura navigation system features a new display and voice recognition system with continuously updated traffic and weather information. Acura also prioritized safety and security by including brake assist, a panic alarm, and four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. The super handling all-wheel drive technology mm -hmm. enhances mm -hmm. and maneuverability. The rear view camera activates when you engage reverse gear to assist when parking. The 2011 Acura MDX. Both practical and stylish.
I'm one five six point nine. What? One five six point nine. Yes, I lost 0 0.1 pounds just a little bit. Sorry, for Next 
Mm-hmm. 